What's up guys, thank you for joining me. I'm your host, Sam, and today we're talking about a microphone, but I'm not talking about this big guy right here. I'm actually talking about the Comica Vimo C. Given the fact that Comica sent me this microphone in order to do a review of it, I just wanna let you guys know that this is not a sponsored video. There was no money exchanged. Comica didn't offer me anything in exchange for a good review. You are hearing my voice and my opinion about the Vimo C. So this specific microphone is a 2.4 gigahertz dual channel wireless lavalier microphone, and it also happens to be the first wireless lav mic that I've ever owned. With that being said, I can't compare it to things like the Rode Wireless Go 2 or the DJI Wireless Lavalier Microphone. All I can give you is my opinion as somebody who's experiencing a wireless lav system for the first time. The price point on the Vimo C definitely feels fair. If you go on Amazon right now and purchase this exact kit that was sent to me by them, it's going to run you about $140 USD. And considering the price point of some of the competitors' wireless lavalier microphones, I definitely wouldn't feel like I was getting ripped off if I spent $140 of my own hard-earned money on what was sent to me by Comica. What actually comes in the box with this thing? Well, first of all, you're getting a charging case with two transmitters and one receiver in it. You're also getting some wires and some other stuff in the box. It's gonna be a USB-C charging cable, two male-to-male 3.5 millimeter audio cables, one for cameras and one for a cell phone. There's also an adapter slash splitter which is used for audio monitoring on the receiver just in case your camera doesn't have a 3.5 millimeter monitoring jack in it and last but not least they included a dead cat windscreen for each transmitter and I think that other big microphone companies should definitely take notes I'm not gonna name any names but for some reason a lot of big microphone companies nowadays just don't like to include the dead cat windscreen and I know it's weird that I'm praising Comica for including the necessary accessories to use a microphone, but when I bought this Rode microphone that's on the end of this arm, it just came with a wire, a shock mount, and a pop filter. If I want the dead cat that fits this microphone, it's an extra $40 for something that's probably 50 cents to manufacture. So now, because Rode wanted to nickel and dime me, I'll never buy another Rode mic, and I'll never buy that dead cat. So. Congratulations. But enough about greedy corporations, let's talk about the actual hardware that comes with the Comica Vimo C. So the first thing that I really liked about this system is this charging case that it comes with. There's two transmitters and one receiver in here, and whenever they're in the case, they're also being charged as long as the case itself has a charge. Comica also made the right move and put USB-C ports on everything, including the bottom of the charging case, both transmitters, the receiver, they all have their own USB-C ports, and there is no micro USB to be found anywhere. You can also charge all three pieces independently. If you were to say, take the receiver out and plug it in through USB-C, it will charge. However, I like to put them in the case and charge from the included USB-C port on the case itself, just because it charges everything at once and it's a lot more convenient. The USB-C port on the receiver itself is not only for charging, you can also use the included adapter to monitor your audio through a pair of headphones in real time. On the opposite side of the receiver, there's a 3.5 five millimeter audio out port. And this is just the main port that you use to plug into your camera or your cell phone. So as you're recording video, you also receive audio through the receiver. Other than those two ports, you'll find a volume A button and a volume B button, as well as a power slash mode button on the opposite side. I'm not gonna talk about the volume buttons on it because it's kind of self-explanatory, but I will talk about the mode button just because it does something kind of interesting. You can run both microphones or transmitters that are called at the same time. Say you're in interviewing two people or you're vlogging and you have a friend with you. And if you have the receiver set to mono mode, it's going to take the audio signal from each microphone and blend them together into one track. However, if it's set in stereo mode, it will pan them to either side so that when you get to the editing process, you'll have access to each microphone's audio independently. The transmitters themselves have two buttons on them and one port. There's a USB-C port at the bottom for charging. 
There's a power slash mute button, and then there's a denoising slash repairing button. The only thing I haven't touched on these transmitters is the denoising button. I haven't had to repair them for any reason, and the denoising I would much rather do in post in the editing process just so that I have all the control that I can instead of just leaving it up to a press of a button and hoping that it does the denoising properly. As far as accessories and hardware, that's everything there is to go over with this thing. I do want to show you guys some tests, and then I'll give you my closing thoughts on the Comica Vimo C. One of my biggest complaints with this receiver is the screen on it. There is a screen included so that you can monitor the audio in real time, and it works perfectly fine, but it's a matte finish, so it's very prone to glaring, especially if you're outdoors. So hypothetically, if you want to set the Vimo C up for something like a talking headshot, what you're going to do is set your camera up, you're going to take the receiver and put it on your camera. I like to put it in the hot shoe just because it fits perfectly. Then you're gonna take the included 3.5 millimeter wire, plug it into the out port on the receiver, and then the other end is going to be plugged into the microphone jack on your camera. As far as volume levels are concerned, I like to take the microphone volume level in the camera and turn it down as low as it will go without losing the signal entirely, just because cameras don't normally have the best audio preamps in them, and I'd much rather deal with the preamp that's already built into the Comica lavalier system. Another thing to be aware of is the receiver has multiple different recording modes. So I'm alone and I'm just recording myself, so I'm only using one transmitter. So the receiver will default to mono mode. However, if you're recording multiple people at a time and using both transmitters, you need to be aware of whether or not your receiver is in stereo mode or mono mode. The only thing left to do other than the vlogging test is to actually show you guys how these things sound in comparison to something like a shotgun mic, which is what I'm using right now. So this is a test of the Comica Vimo C with the transmitter attached to my collar right here as it would be in something like an interview. I'm sure it would probably sound a little bit better if I actually held it out in front of me, but that's not how you're going to use it practically. One of the things I noticed immediately is if I turn my head away and continue talking, or if I'm looking at something and I'm looking away from the transmitter, it drastically reduces the volume. Now that this test is done, I'm gonna take the dead cat and put it on the transmitter. I'm gonna take the camera with me. I'll put a coat on because it's cold outside. It's not that windy, so I don't know that I need the dead cat, but I want you guys to hear as many different situations as you can with this system before you potentially buy it. Okay, so now we are outdoors. I have the Vimo C transmitter attached to the collar of my jacket and we are walking around outside. It's reasonably windy, so you might be hearing some of that in the microphone itself, or maybe not, maybe the dead cat is doing its job. However, I'm sure the volume is a little bit higher now because the microphone is a little bit closer to my mouth as opposed to when it was on my collar and pointed at the bottom of my chin. So in closing, if I spent $300 on this wireless lav system, I would probably feel like I got ripped off. However, at $140, I think the price is right for what you're getting. The other thing is convenience. The fact that this thing is wireless is just so convenient. If you've ever used a wired lav mic before, you know how bad it sucks. You have to put a zoom recorder in the person's pocket and like run the wire up their shirt and then hide the lav mic and the wire gets yanked out by accident or the recorder gets shut off by accident. None of that stuff will ever happen with a wireless system. So I don't think I'm ever gonna go back to the wired version. And there are other other parameters that we could talk about. There's build quality, there's battery life, there's audio quality, and it's not the best at any of them. The Comica Vimo C costs $140 and it's a wireless lavalier microphone. Of course, it's not the best sounding microphone in the universe. It's not going to withstand a fall off a cliff. The battery does not last for weeks. But for $140 bucks, and considering that it's a wireless lav mic, it gets the job done and it does it well. And that's all I got. If you got something out of this, consider going down and hitting the like and the sub button. It means the world to content creators like me. Thank you for joining me on another episode of Sam Has a Spending Problem, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.